click on the subscribe button and remember to press the bell icon for regular notifications from our digital blogger hello friends welcome to a digital blogger today we are doing a basic walkthrough of the mobile app from icic direct now this application is one of the trading platforms offered by this full service store broker but in this walkthrough we will see what are the features available what are the positives what are the negatives what are the user experience standards set up within this application and whether in the final place it's a suitable mobile app for trading or not let's get started So once you log into the mobile app, the home screen displays latest data feed on different indices. It includes the Sensex and Nifty. At the same time, it gives you information on market movers for that particular day, positive and negative. Uh, finally, you have an understanding of the different trading and investment segments across uh, products. It could be a commodity, it could be currency at that matter. Then quickly you can have an understanding of the gainers of the day, losers of the day, weekly gainers and weekly losers as well. If you can see that I'm tapping on a single click basis, so all of that information is available on a readily basis. Then uh, you can certainly just hover across the frequencies on a monthly level too. So this is what is available to you on the home screen and uh, it gives you an idea right away that what is going on in the market what kind of industries or what kind of uh, stocks are carrying the momentum and which are not so it gives you a plus and minus idea both so this is about the home screen then there is information on market we have talked about market movers then there are heat maps now these are colored coded blocks in such a way that you don't have to work on the numbers you don't have to look at the data just look at the color code and you will be able to make up your mind right away for instance the one that is the darkest green has been the top gainer in this case it's Hindle and finally if you look in some of the pink colored ones they are more or less in neutral place um, they gained a bit then they lost a bit on both levels and finally if you look at the negative part the dark red color code uh, block in this case it's Sun Pharma that particular stock has lost the most in this index I'm talking about Sensex and we can also have a tap at Nifty and similarly at sector level you can perform the same operation so it's a good feature again for quick analysis and making up your judgment on a readily basis then at the same time you can put your money across IPOs bonds using this application um, if you want to have an understanding of the point of view of ICIC direct in form of their research reports recommendations well they've got a tab for that they've got a menu item but before you uh, take a decision just need to click on uh, research here I'm clicking on company research now this particular feature has a concern I'm going to type in TCS now I've just done that and once I've clicked on it this is not done by me this is happening automatically so you have to be very patient while you're using this application and finally I've been able to go through this click on view now you have the data part available here this talks about company profile it talks about shareholding pattern company snapshot financial ratio so all of the data is available on a readily basis but the point is all of this is data there is not much of an information I have to perform my own analysis if I'm looking at this data and this is a big disappointment because I'm looking at a full service stock broker right now which should be providing me all kinds of tips and recommendations within the trading platform unfortunately in this case it is not happening and you have to make sure that you perform your analysis if you're doing the trading or investment through the mobile app well you can't really rely on ICIC direct to provide you any kind of a tip or recommendation so that part is going to be a concern if you're going to be the client of ICICI then you can use the basic feature of watch list as well now what does watch list does if you want to monitor a particular stock that you are interested in and you don't want to buy or sell it today but you just want to monitor it right now you can create a watch list add that particular stock it's very simple you just have to type in the code we'll take, take the example of TCS again in this case um, for some reason it's not working but I'll just go on and add it and uh, it is working um, and it just added up TCS into the market watch list for me now 
here it gives me a lot of information again so as far as information is concerned there is an overload of that so it gives me top five bits or offers for the day along with that if I'm interested in derivatives I can do that there is charting feature available now if you look at the chart once it loads it will take its own sweet time uh, yeah finally it works now now the point here is very simple the design of the charts we are looking at is very primitive in nature um, if you compare it with some of the mobile applications that perform really well in terms of speed in terms of number of features in terms of maturity well you will find this app very limited from multiple facets here similarly if you want to perform your fundamental analysis the best you can do is three years if i want to have a look at the last 10 years 15 years of data of a particular stock i cannot do it using this particular mobile app i have to either go to the terminal based solutions or the web based application from this full service stock broker so that is again a disappointment because if i am putting in money for a long term investment i want to perform fundamental analysis at my own end well that is not going to happen as far as the mobile app is concerned so this is about uh, the research part here then you can also put your money across things like mutual funds you can directly buy a SIP here or uh, there are other ways to do that there is tip portfolio you can also have a look at the risk profile so from multiple aspects uh, it gives you not only information about equity and currency segments but there is a lot that can be done across uh, mutual funds too so this is uh, more or less a complete walkthrough there are some negatives and positives of uh, this uh, mobile application. We'll start with the negatives first. So the performance of this mobile app is around mediocre in uh, nature. You can't really have high speed uh, expectations. The charts are not interactive enough. If you look at the mobile apps such as IFL Markets or uh, 5 Pesa for that matter or Zerda Kite. Uh, now these apps are known for good speed. As at least the mobile apps are good enough. But uh, in the case of ICI, ICI, that's a big problem. The app doesn't really get updated on a regular basis. Um, in this case, the general frequency update is around six to seven months. It should be around one month, one to one point five months at max. The app is reasonably slow, and uh, the overall design is pretty bland. I would say the design can be improved. If I have to rank the design, I'll give somewhere around five to six out of ten. As far as positives are concerned, you can buy or sell across equity currency mutual funds ipos directly from this application number of features are good um, at the same time you can have a lot of data we've talked about the data there is quite an exhaustiveness when it comes to the data part but certainly you have to perform your own analysis finally the app is available across windows android and ios operating system so that is quite kind of a flexibility provided by this uh, stock broker here so that's it thank you so much this was our first attempt in going through a demo of our mobile app we hope you liked the video in case you did please go and press the thumbs up button we'll really appreciate that in case you have any feedback or comment do let us know in the comment section below we will try to come up with those incorporations in the future videos. We will try to come up with this kind of a video demos, walkthrough of different trading platforms uh, on a weekly basis. Again, thank you so much for watching the video. Bye-bye.